so good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something pretty exciting. I have this box full of Wet n Wild stuff. Pretty much I'm gonna do my full face using new products, including the brushes. I already have some Wet n Wild brushes. They're the white ones right here. Um, so I'm gonna try to use as much of their brushes as possible. So let's just jump in. Now, any of these products right here, I've never tried, uh, except for the liquid lipstick. I just couldn't help myself. So yesterday I opened one and I tried one of them. Sorry about that. But the rest of these items are still in the boxes. All right, let's jump in. First thing I'm gonna open is this Wet n Wild set over here. It has a highlighter, it has a contour, this is a face primer, and then this is my favorite setting spray of all time. And it has a brush and it was only $15. I already have moisturizer on my face, so I'm gonna start with the, the primer. It looks like lotion. Look at that. And it feels like moisturizer too. It says, <clears throat> This is a magic potion, that's what it says. Refines pores, fine lines, brightens complexion, even skin tone. Um, I do feel like that it brightened my skin. My pores over here do look a little bit smaller and it has like a silicone feel. So the next thing I'm gonna use is a foundation. I am so excited to use this foundation, mainly because it has a spatula. You see that? Isn't that freaking cool? This foundation is in the color buff bisque i bought it online it was so hard to match because i mean it's online just kind of guessed it based on the little squares that they have and i think it looks actually pretty okay we'll see we'll see it says it doesn't have any photo flashback tested under seven different lights i'm just gonna google really quick what the claims are it's high performing skin perfecting foundation just talks about the lights Specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin no filter perfection. High performing breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast. Alrighty, I think that's enough. That's enough. Um, I was gonna use this brush. It is a flat top brush from Wet n Wild, but it doesn't really seem like it's gonna work as a foundation brush. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Uti blender. Okay, this just blended out beautifully. I think I could have gone like a shade darker. I'm getting like a medium coverage because you can still see a lot of my scars here. I'm gonna let the foundation set and then I will go ahead and see if I can add a second layer to it. While that is setting, let's go ahead and put eye primer on our eyelids. Now this primer is my second one that I've purchased. I love this primer. So this is nothing new. This primer literally keeps my eyeshadow on all day. Primer is on. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows because I don't have a brow product from What Wild. I think I saw like a pencil or something, but I'm not really into pencils that I have to sharpen. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I will be right back. I did manage to purchase the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. Okay. I don't like the wand on this. I think it's a little too big for your brows. I, my L'Oreal brow stylist is my holy, holy, holy freaking grail. And look at this wand right here. You see how tiny that is versus this one, which is a little bit bigger. I like the smaller one. It's just easier to grab your brow hairs because they're so little. It's not bad. This is not the worst one I've used. This is good. It's good, but it's not like life changing. So my foundation has been on for about five, seven minutes. I'm gonna add a second layer and see how that works out. Oh yeah, it layers beautifully. Okay, I really like this foundation. Look at that, full thing coverage. This is amazing. This is a new Wet n Wild palette. It's in the shade Nude Awakening. And I mean, just these shades are so beautiful. There was two kinds. There were like warm tones, you know, warm brown tones. And then there was this one. I had to get this one because I love, 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 love cranberry shades. Isn't that so pretty? This color sold me. This is like my kind of shade. Ooh, they feel super soft. 
The only thing that I don't really like is that there's no like, um, where are my brushes? Wet n Wild blending brushes. Amazing, 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 amazing. These are ones that you can clearly tell that I always use. These are the blending brushes. Oh, thank God I have a clean one so I can use this one. I already have the primer on, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here. Uh, there are no shade names other than one, two, three, four, five. Literally says one, two, three, four, five. This is like the closest shade that you have to a transition color. It does have shimmer in it, so that's kind of strange. Oh yeah, this is like coming off pink. Let's try a clean brush. Yep, it's pink. It doesn't look so pink on here though. It looks beige. That was not the transition color I was hoping for. I'm going to take this cranberry shade right here. Okay, definitely doing a smoky eye at this point. This shade is a lot more purple than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more red. It looks like a hot mess. <sighs> I think once I put lashes on and stuff, it'll be fine, but right now it is looking like a hot mess. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this shade right here to the center of my eyes. I'm gonna do like kind of like a halo effect. There. I don't have a small inner corner highlight type of brush from Wet n Wild, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my regular brush for my inner corners, which is usually this guy right here. I'm gonna use this shade right here, the one that I swatched earlier, and I do wanna use it with a little bit of Fix Plus because I want it to just pop. Oh my god, it is so freaking pretty, you guys that let's do this corner right here oh it's so gorgeous i don't know if i'm gonna do a liner i'm gonna think about it for a second it's 6 39 the last time i was filming was about 5 40 ish um so it's been exactly an hour and that's because my battery died and then my backup battery died too so I went ahead and cooked dinner and then I got some more coffee. So my foundation has been on for about an hour and a half. I guess it's kind of like a blessing in disguise that my battery died because I can really test out the foundation. And the foundation is very tacky, but it looks full coverage, you guys. Like, let me zoom y'all in. Like you can't see any, any of my scars. Anyway, so while I was gone, I decided that I was not gonna do eyeliner. Instead, I'm going to intensify the um, this area right here. And then I'm going to take uh, this shade right here, the inner corner highlight that I used, and just pop it right on top. Or like even more. I bought this concealer right here. The concealer has the exact same claims as the foundation. I mean, it is the Photo Focus line. And same thing with the concealer. It was very hard to pick a shade. This is in the shade light slash medium beige. I wish I would've gotten the fair now that I think about it so I can mix it together. I thought the fair would be too pink for me and that's why I didn't get it. But this just kind of looks like my foundation shade. And I want my concealer to be a little bit light, you know? Oh, maybe it'll work. Oh, and then one more thing, the foundation did oxidize just a little bit, so it's a little bit darker than it was when I first applied it. You can barely tell on camera, but in person, like, I look, I look good. This concealer feels a little bit heavy, and I feel like it's going to dry quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out for now. Ooh, doesn't that look smooth AF? Concealer is blending out beautifully. It's like tiny, tiny, tiny little bit lighter than my foundation, so I definitely should have gotten the fair. Mm, I don't really 
really like the concealer. I'm gonna bake it just for a little bit because I actually see it sinking into my fine pores and I don't like that. The rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and um, set it with the Photo Focus powder that I purchased. This is a pressed powder in the shade Warm Beige. Powders, it's kind of hard to tell how they work, you know? Until you go throughout the day. I mean, so far, it looks good. See, you guys see how I look a little pink? That's why I like yellow toned things. So I think that foundation, I definitely should have gotten a shade darker. In person, it doesn't look bad. Like I would totally wear this probably as my everyday foundation. I bought this contouring stick right here. This is a brand new product. Now this one right here, um, I have seen it. This is not a new product. I mean, it says it's a new formula, but it's not a new product. Anyway, so let's go ahead and try it. Guys, you know what I just realized? I totally powdered my face and I'm about to put cream on top of powder. Never ever put cream on top of powder because it'll ruin, it usually ruins your foundation. <sighs> Man, but I really wanted to use this. I'm gonna use it either way and just hope for the best. And I'm using the contouring brush that it came with. Yeah, totally messed my foundation. You can see my skin now. Let's try blending it out with a beauty blender and see if that'll work better. It works better with the brush. I'll show you guys how it blends out on the back of my hands. See, that would be a pretty face. But yeah, I didn't want to use this yellow powder for underneath my eyes because I think it's too, wow. It's too yellow. This powder is super smooth. Maybe I put a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take this contour shade and I'm going to go ahead and contour with this. It looks really nice in the viewfinder. I like it. Circular motions. Circular motions. Wow. I really like my contour right now. I think it looks really good. Just realized I wasn't filming, so I don't know where we stopped. I already added one layer because my camera stopped recording it, so I'm just applying extra layers on top of the ones I applied already. And I was saying that I do like this um, cream highlighter stick. This is in the shade when the nude strikes i know there was two of them i really wanted the one with the pink undertone because the other one was like really bronzy the next thing we're gonna use is this bad boy right here is the illuminating palette this is way 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 bigger than i thought it was i thought this palette was going to be size of like something like this but no this is huge it's massive okay now i'm gonna use the wet n wild fan brush I already know I don't like this brush, but I just want to show you guys why I don't like it. I'm going to mix these three, sh uh, the, the two shades here actually, maybe three. I just don't like this brush, like, it doesn't feel smooth, it doesn't feel nice, it, it didn't even apply it right. Oh, I don't like that brush. I'm gonna use my regular brush, which is the e.l.f. Um, blush brush. I use this as my highlight brush. I think I put a little bit too much highlight. Oh my god, look at this cheek right here. That's crazy. The tip of my nose is probably the only place that I don't mind having a ton of highlighter. A little bit on my forehead because my forehead is looking flat. Okay, this highlighter is really good. 
highlighter is done. Now let's go ahead and finish the eyes. So I'm gonna go back into the this palette right here. I don't have another brush to use, so I'm gonna use my Luxie 235 blending brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade first, the one that I used for the center. As if I don't have enough glow, you know? Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here. I'm gonna dig into that burgundy color that we used earlier and apply that to my bottom lash line. I really like how this look is coming out though. I purchased the Renegade Lash Renegade Mascara. This is what it looks like. Probably the coolest packaging for a mascara. Oh wow. I don't know about this wand. Okay, right off the bat, it grabs onto small lashes really, really, really well, but it is heavy which means it's going to drag my lashes down. Oh my God, this might be my new favorite mascara. I really wish this came in waterproof because I feel like I would really like it. That is a single coat. I'm trying to let it dry. Mm, I'll add falsies. I kind of didn't want to add falsies, but I'll add Okay, for lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the Cocoa Lashes in the Style Queen B. While my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lipstick. This is a gel lip liner. Seamless, flawless application, no tugging, no dragging, delivers never-ending color. This is in the shade Fair to Comment. Oh, this is super soft. It's one of those liners that you use. It can moisturize your lips. That is really pretty. I can totally wear this alone. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lash because it's definitely getting drier. I put this in our corner. See that? But that's okay. So for the lips, I bought five different shades. And for this look, I either want to use this one right here or this one right here. Um, this is in the shade Goth Topic. And then I have this one right here. That's in the shade Yummy Mocha. I'm gonna go with this one. Look at that. It's definitely a little patchy, but I really like the wand because it picks up a lot of product. Since this whole, most of the line claims to be, claims to give you flawless skin and all of that stuff in photos, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all of my studio lights and then take a flash photo. All right, so I'm looking at the picture. Overall, my face looks different than my um, body, only because I remember I was telling you guys, I think I bought a foundation shade that was the wrong shade, but other than that, it looks freaking beautiful. I really like the way the picture came out. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Right baby girl. Some focus in your eyes. Um I honestly, honestly, honestly really like all of the products that I used. Um I think the only thing that I didn't like was a contour stick. Only because I just felt like it was a little too yellow for me. Okay, you wanna go? Bye. It was a little too orange for me. Um but other than that the foundation I really like. Oh my god, it looks so good in person and on camera. Um, the highlight obviously is popping. The matte liquid lipsticks, maybe that's one of my other things that I don't really like that much. Like if you look here, they're a little bit patchy, but I personally don't mind applying two layers. That's what I did over here and it looks just fine. Obviously, I freaking love the Wet n Wild brushes. I like the eye brushes way more than the face brushes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one brand full face first impressions review type of makeup tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.